everyone, I'm James and this is my Spitfire and here we have yet another box of parts for it. Let's have a look. Okay, what's first out of the bag? We have some new rubber gaskets to go in behind the rear taillight assembly. I also got some new gaskets to go behind the rear taillight lenses. Uh, the ones I put in in the previous video I wasn't overly happy with, so I thought for two pounds it may be worth trying some different ones. For the instrument cluster, we have a set of um, press-in bulb holders to go in the back of the instruments. Also for the instrument panel, I have a new retaining bracket that goes on the back of the um, rev counter. Currently only has one and should have two. so. That uh, screws on the back and holds the instrument in the panel. And here's a slightly different one that goes on one of the two inch wide instruments that is also missing one. Uh, we have a new oil pressure switch because the one in the car at the moment doesn't work. I have a little trunnion to go on the heater valve. And we have for the heater flaps on the side of the radiator inside the cabin, um, a new knob to go on there because one of them is missing. And a screw to go with that. And um, what else have we got in here? Here we go. Uh, Moss Motors, where I got this particular order from. Um, sorry, Moss Europe in the UK. Uh, they do a kit of locks with all the same key. So that comes with a new barrel for the ignition, a new barrel for the boot, keys obviously and um, two new door locks with barrels included obviously the one assembly so you would have seen in my previous video if you watched that that I've already bought some new door locks but um, having them all with the same key is kind of nice so I thought while I was there I'll get that and I also to go with that got a new ignition switch because the one in the car isn't an original type so I thought I'd make sure um, the barrel definitely fits by getting a proper rod correct for the car one. Uh, also back to the heater, I have a new flange for where the valve connects to the um, tubing. And last up in here, we have a rebuild kit for the clutch slave cylinder you've seen in my last video that needs some attention um, to go with that I also bought just out of the box a new pipe for it with attachments included uh, this seemed to be a quicker simpler and relatively probably cheaper option than getting the existing pipe re-terminated and to go with all of that, not from Moss Europe, locally I picked up on the internet a second hand slave cylinder and all its parts. So we have the bracket there, cylinder itself, the end cap which is missing entirely off mine, and left in there is the bolt and the um, broken off hose. So this one is supposedly seized, uh, it is a three quarter inch one, I, um, I'm not sure how interchangeable the parts are but I'm going to find out and um, see what it takes to um, 
get it going if I need to. Otherwise it might be a case of taking parts from this and putting them on the one in the car, which is a 7 8 if I can. So, we'll see how we get on with that. And the last thing in the box... A pair of performance brake drums for the rear. So, the ones on the car at the moment are probably original, very rusty, and one of them is actually warped. So as much as it isn't too bad, um, I thought while I was shopping, I might grab these um, because safety is important and these should provide a little bit of rear braking performance. Right, so I'll be fitting these parts and others over the next few videos. So if you want to see that, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed seeing this little shopping trip, Hit that thumbs up button and uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Alright, so that's me. Catch you next time. Here's a handy tip for when you're restoring a vehicle during lockdown when you can't get to a shop. Um, the old rear brake cylinder clips are also the exact right size for a half inch circlip.